From the start of the Chinese human spaceflight program, the workhorse launch vehicle was the Long March 2F. While the Long March 2F was designed to launch the Xinzhou, it could also lift the small Taingong 1 and Taingong 2 stations into low Earth orbit. But it would take medium and heavy lift vehicles to launch the larger payloads needed for the ultimate Chinese space station, also called the Daingong. It was time for new launch vehicles. In June of 2016, China conducted the maiden flight of its medium lift launch vehicle, the Long March 7. Originally based on a proposed change of fuel and oxidizer from N204 and UDMH to liquid oxygen and kerosene for the Long March 2, the Long March 7 eventually became its own independent design and project. With its Long March 2F heritage, it shares many of the basic design features of the older vehicle, including the same 3.35 meter diameter, a first stage core booster with two YF200 engines, and four strap-on boosters, each powered by its own YF100 engine. The second stage uses four YF115 engines, and there's an optional third stage. The Long March 7's payload capacity to orbit is 13,500 kilograms, compared to the just 8,400 kilograms for the Long March 2F. Having been developed in tandem with the Long March 7, in November of 2016, another vehicle, the heavy lift vehicle Long March 5, had its first flight, which successfully carried a satellite into geostationary orbit. The Long March 5 would launch three more satellites in 2017 and 2019, and then in 2020 launch the second generation Chinese crewed vehicle for orbital testing, the Tianwen-1 Mars Orbiter Lander and Rover, and the Qing-5 Lunar Sample Return Mission. Both the Long March 5 and 7 vehicles launched from the newly built Wengsheng Space Launch Center, located in coastal Hainan province in southern China. While it is a little confusing, remember that the Long March 5 is a bigger rocket than the Long March 7, despite it having a smaller number designated to it. The Long March 5 also retains some basic design aspects of the Long March 2F and the 7, with a core stage and four boosters. However, the Long March 5 has a much larger diameter of 5 meters. The first stage is powered by two YF-77 engines burning liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. Its four boosters are powered by the same engines as the boosters on the Long March 7, the YF-100, but this time with two engines for each of the four boosters. The first stage and boosters are so powerful that it can launch large payloads into low Earth orbit without the use of a second stage, a version designated as the CZ-5B. Using the second stage, or even a third stage, launched only one time, a Long March 5 rocket can carry 25,000 kilograms to low Earth orbit 19 to 20,000 kilograms to the moon, or 6,000 kilograms to Mars. In September 2016, Tiangong-2 was launched into orbit atop a Long March 2F.
It, like the first, was a space laboratory with more advanced functions and equipment than Tiangong-1. A month later, Shenzhou-11 was launched. And docked with Tiangong-2. Two Taikonauts, Jing Peng and Shen Dong, entered Tangong 2 and stayed aboard for a month before returning back to Earth. A few months later, in April of 2017, the Long March 7 was ready and launched Tianzhou 1, China's first cargo spacecraft intended for use on the upcoming modular station itself essentially the same vehicle as the older Taingong stations. After the standard two-day rendezvous orbit, the Tianzhou-1 docked with Tiangong-2 and completed multiple in-orbit refueling tests, proving the capabilities of transferring necessary reaction control propellant from cargo ships to orbiting stations. Tiangong-1 stayed in orbit until April of 2018, and Tiangong-2 until July of 2019, before re-entering the Earth's atmosphere and burning up. With the success of these new launch vehicles, the second phase of Step 2 was complete. And step 3 would be the start of the construction of the Chinese space station, the final heavenly home.